Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Kmom Vlogs and today we are going to make an easy yema spread. And for our ingredients, we will need one can of condensed milk. We'll need three tablespoons of melted butter, three medium eggs, and crushed peanuts. And we will also need a medium sized saucepan. All right, let's start. You have to start melting the butter in medium heat. So we added a three tablespoon of butter into our saucepan and just wait until everything is melted. So our second step is to add our one can of condensed milk into the butter and we're gonna start stirring it until we evenly mix the butter and the milk so let's do that so our next step is to stir Stir in the condensed milk and allow it to cook for 3 minutes. Alright, so in medium heat, we're gonna start mixing our butter and milk. And I'm using a hand mixer to make it easier to do the stirring. So let's do this for 3 minutes. And as you can see, slowly our mixture is getting thicker, it's getting bubbly, and so we just keep doing it, keep stirring, and wait until it's cooked. Okay, so we're now ready to add the egg yolks and continue stirring the mixture for another two minutes. So we're gonna do that, and as you can see, it's boiling, and we just need to mix the three ingredients very nicely and let's wait until you know it's ready so we can add our next recipe okay so now set the heat to medium and put in the chopped peanut so we're gonna do that we're gonna put it all over our mixture and then we're gonna start mixing it together and then you have to stir it until the mixture becomes thick and it's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes so let's just do that stir everything and you can also adjust the heat to low when the texture is about to be achieved so the texture that we want to achieve is thick and a little bit sticky so let's wait until we get that And we're slowly getting the texture that we want so I think we should be ready in a few minutes so now we're gonna turn off the heat and allow the mixture to cool down so prepare your little containers while waiting when the temperature cools down scoop a spoonful and transfer it to your container. So I am using a 
used container that I got when I bought a dessert and I just wash it and keep it for you know like next dessert that I'm gonna do so I use I'm gonna use it for this one and I'm just filling all the containers the little containers that I have so I think I about eight little containers will be filled and guys you can also use a different containers you can use like a jar and put the mixture into just one jar you don't have to like split it so now we're going to apply our desired presentation so depending on what you want to do you can do it plain you can add a sprinkle like for me i'm going to be using the chocolate sprinkles that i have from ali cafe so i'm just going to put it on top just you know like enough amount just to make it more presentable and this yama spread you know like you can use it on your sandwich or you can eat it just the way it is just get a spoon and then you can enjoy it as your dessert all right so i hope you like this video guys Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to Kmom Vlogs. Please don't forget to like this video if you like it and ring the bell for more video updates. I would also love to hear your comments. Let me know guys what you think about this recipe. Is it easy? Is it you know like easy to follow? Let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. And again, thank you so much for watching. All right, and now we're ready. We're all done. So this is our yema spread. This is how it looks like. Please serve, share, and enjoy your yema spread. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.